welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello well I have a doll haul now this is dolls I've got over um, the last few months <laughs> that I haven't thrown into a video yet I've kind of just thrown them all here this week is basically going to be secondhand hauls I have a really cool boys toy haul coming through which is um, going to be amazing because I know I've messaged and talked to you some few of you that it's really hard to find boys toys okay so i've got a lot of cabbage patch kids but i'm going to start off with the one moxie girl so i grabbed a bunch of dolls for a dollar each from a charity shop this is a moxie girl um she obviously doesn't have her clothes but she does have her feet let's bring her up and have a look now i might not have the time to identify them down below i might do but um this is a dollar new zealand which is about i think at the present moment it's about 67 cents us or 50, 50, whatever 50 cents is in pounds, or half a pound, <laughs> I don't know what, what it is in pounds. So this is a moxie girl, um, kind of what I always call if Bratz and, ba and Barbie had a baby, that's a moxie girl. So that's the first one. Then I got a bunch of Bratz for a dollar, which I'm super duper excited about. I'll bring her up. Here she is, she's very, very attractive, this one, and she has bendable knees. Now none of the brats came with shoes. I love the bendable knees and I love her flirty eyes. I always call it flirty eyes when they look off to the side. She has glitter on her eyeshadow there and if I haven't identified them feel free to you know always let me know in the comments below. I am very very busy at the moment so um, I haven't had the time to do as many videos as usual this year and she has a holding pose on her hands. So there is quite a few unique things about her but she is a very attractive doll. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she needs a good wash. <laughs> they all need a good scrub. They're not bad condition though. They haven't got their chew marks and things like that. Um, it says a dollar on her leg and there's a sticker of another doll's come off a dollar fifty, but these are all a dollar, so ignore the one in her hair. I just put them all in a large pile while I was like, oh, I've got to do a haul video. I've got to do some catching up. But yeah, very pretty doll. Again, happy to have her. This is an attractive Yasmin. I believe it's Yasmin because of the beauty mark. Look at that gold shimmer in her eyebrows with a partially open mouth. Just such unique and beautiful dolls. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if a company tries to imitate Bratz soon and bring back this line because LOL dolls are slowly phasing out. I've noticed that kids are slowly kind of getting bored of LOL dolls. They're becoming a tiny bit too repetitive. But um, I still like the LOL OMG dolls. But um, yeah, brats are just a kind of a step above, more, you know, in the flirty eyes division. <laughs> Here we go. She has a blue eyeshadow with a pink insert there. Oh, the sun's just going behind the cloud. Sorry about the lighting. Um, my spotlight has disappeared. I don't know why it's disappeared. Someone must be doing videos with it. <laughs> or something I'm not too sure but yeah really lovely hair on this one nice long lovely hair and just an attractive doll again they're all very attractive so the last doll in the lot again and certainly not the least of course um Yasmin beauty spot there and this one has green eyes with a blue to pink eyeshadow and a pink lipstick with a very dark pink lip liner. I've never been into darker lip liner than, than um, you know, when they do the darker lip liner and stuff like that. But it does look good on Bratz. Okay, so that's those done. Um, Prince Eric, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm almost 100% I've shown you in another doll haul. I don't know why you went into this one, but um, <laughs> one I found, and I was so incredibly excited I found her. I think we have her. I do think we have her. But for $1.50 New Zealand, I couldn't leave her behind on the off chance. I need to check upstairs. Um, I don't know if um, if you've seen the Astra's pictures on um, the Monster High Instagram, uh, Instagram, you'll know that she has a large Monster High collection. Let's bring her up. So this is, of course, Laguna from Great Scarier Reef. Gorgeous, gorgeous face on her. It looks like she's hardly played with. Still has her hair up in the factory elastic coming down here yeah she's got her bracelet on her fins are gorgeous 
And of course, these dolls, you can see she was $1.50. These dolls were designed so that you didn't need a doll stand. One thing that Monster High had above most of the other dolls out at the present time was that they had their doll stands. It's meant to stand up, and I say that. I don't think it's meant to be that way. I think it's this way. I think I'm doing something wrong. Hmm. Well, they are meant to stand up on their own, but I don't have the time to fight with her. Oh, dear. So let's put her aside. Oh, um, and then two dolls I found. Um, I think it was the hospice. I think they found them in the hospice shop. Now, I don't collect these dolls, but she's a very popular girl. Let's bring up the first one. As I said, they were New Zealand a dollar each from the hospice shop. She's got a lovely face to it. You know, sometimes I love character faces on dolls, but um, sometimes when they, you know, they're modeled after an actor or something like that, I think they get the proportions or the facial expressions so wrong. There's certain, like I, I dislike um, the, oh, the Fool's House twins, the Full House twins, um, their dolls. I think they look really, really bad. <laughs> The Olsen twins, there you go. Um, they made them, they're such attractive girls, and they made them look so strange dolly-wise. But uh, yeah, Jojo dolls I actually think are quite nice. Now, I think they still sing. <laughs> Hashtag besties, not bullies. Hashtag besties, not bullies. You know, sharing that good message. Very attractive doll. I quite like these ones. And the thing is, I can actually see her being incorporated in Barbie stories quite easily as a younger sister or, or a cousin or something like that, because she has that kind of vibe to her. Here she is. Some little lovelies put it in a hairband and obviously loved her. Again, the face. The face are very similar, actually. This one has more blushing. And that's about it. <laughs> but... Oh, yay, the sun's come out for you, Jojo. It must like you. So I think this one must be in her official clothing. It looks very Jojo. Uh, sort of clothing with the bows down the side. The sparkly clothing. And then the go sun goes again. <laughs> and some flat-shoed feet. So this one has also a rainbow in her hair. So that's cute. Let's see if she works. Okay, she's gonna come back like a boomerang. Well, I don't know if JoJo's Australian, but um, boomerangs are actually pretty brutal if they come back and hit you. <laughs> You've got to be pretty skilled to catch them. <laughs> so that's interesting. Does she have anything to say up? Besties, not bullies. That's the message. That's a really good message for kids. So I got two JoJo Seawiz for a dollar each. All right, so um, actually I'm going to show, the first thing I'm going to show, I showed a picture of this on Instagram. I got this, um, and thank you to those who helped me identify them. I did think they were Polly Pocket, I think I said that, but I couldn't find them, but they're Polly Pocket's 2010s around. So there's a heap of furniture in there. Um, I think I was given these. And... Um, then there's these little dolls. Now, these little dolls I'm super duper excited about because they're such fantastic Barbie size for my smart dolls. They look really, really good. And I'm when I do my smart doll rule, uh, room, which is in a video coming up, um, we're making a huge big doll room for my smart dolls. Um, these are going to be up on the shelf as <laughs> Barbies. Polly's as Barbies. I know there are Barbie ones as well, but I want as many as I can. Then let's go wee, 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 all the way home to here. So this baby is what I would call just your bog standard dolly. It was $4.50 New Zealand. I actually purchased this one, not for myself. Um, but um, when I say not for myself, I mean that sometimes I, I have what's called a donation pile and I give a lot of toys to kids. Um, one of those things that I like to do is um, basically make some children happy that otherwise might not get toys. I won't go into it too much, but um, this baby doll here is a really adorable doll. So I brought her for $4.50. She has baby doll eyes, for, which means that she closes them and she may sit in a donation pile for a while until some little bubba comes along and picks her. But um, yeah, she was $25, I believe, brand new at Kmart. So for $4.50, I don't mind putting her aside. Plus, 
the only thing that I'm going to steal off her, which <laughs> sounds terrible, I'm going to steal off a baby doll, I'm going to steal that pacifier. I want that pacifier for myself. Um, just really cute, nice clean condition, happy with her. So I brought her again with the intention of giving her away, I don't know when that will be, but uh, yeah, if you see her in some collection videos, she is not to, not for me to keep. Ah, um, some babies that I did buy for myself, they were $2.50 New Zealand, is this weird baby, I don't know what these are, I'm just assuming they're just a variety store doll, but I love, love, love the faces on them. Let's bring the first one up, oh my goodness. I love potato babies. Um, my daughter was a potato baby. They're basically the babies that are so chubby and have so many lines and look, you know, they have no neck and they've just got like, they're like a potato with, um, <laughs> with the head and the body's like a potato with a couple of arms and legs sticking out. Let's have a look up close. So here is this one up close. I mean, just look at the wrinkles on the body. I love it. I love it so much. Potato babies are the best babies. You know, you see some babies and they look long and lanky and it's like, <laughs> but potato babies when they're chubby and so cute. I love it. So I, this is the first one. You can see it's kind of got its mouth to the side like, because babies when, um, little known is that babies don't actually know how to smile. When they smile when they're newborns, it's usually because they're letting gas out and stuff. Um, babies actually have to learn smiling. It's so cute. And then his or her brother. Look at this one, it's so cute. It is so incredibly cute. I love the blue eyes on this one and just the face like it. I, I can see this in some children, you know, that happy, when they get to that happy smile when they look at you and they just smile and you're in their entire world. A little happy potato baby. I'm so happy. These ones are definitely for me. <laughs> I wish I knew where they were from because um, I'd love to know if they came with nappies or any sort of accessories. What does it say on the back? Uh, berry Ber Bergen, Beringen, yeah, I'll put it down here somewhere. Um, I might have identified them, I might have not. If you know anything about them, let me know. Okay, so Cabbage Patch Kids, I have quite a large Cabbage Patch Kids collection. Um, I think I've photographed a pile of them before on the floor on Instagram, and I've shown some of them on Instagram. Um, they're kind of in a storage box, um, a large storage box, so I don't like to bring them out because I kind of like to restore them and then keep them as they are. So I brought a bunch um, that I wanted as I saw them while we were in lockdown in New Zealand and um, just for their facial modes and how cute they are etc. Let's bring this one up and have a look. So this one I believe is referred to as a single tooth head mold. Very very cute and obviously because she has one tooth out there and she has dimples on each cheek. So very cute, small nose, green eyes. I don't know if this is an official outfit, it might be. Let's have a look. Do not dry clean, well, that doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, Coleco. So it is an official outfit and then she has some official shoes on. Very cute, I wanted this one as soon as I saw that tooth. <laughs> I like the outfit. And sticking with the teeth, because Cabbage Patch Kids with their teeth showing are actually my favourite types of Cabbage Patch Kids. Now this isn't an official outfit. Um, the outfit's cute, it's just not my favourite. I will give it a wash and put it somewhere, I'm sure I can use it in the future. She's got a pair of undies on. And um, the shoes and the socks are at least official, but the rest of her I will change. And whoever dressed her in this, um, the lady I buy from down in Wellington, uh, gave her these cute you know, little roses on her hair, which goes with her sort of get up. Let's bring her up and have a look. So I soak all Cabbage Patch bodies in nappy sand and give their faces a good clean. And then I trim off any of the shag on their hair, which is quite common. Um, I try and reset their hairs as um, they would be if and you can generally tell, like the two pigtail ones have a line down the middle, um, ones that are just go straight down, and th there is some telling signs in their hair how it used to be, but, you know, do it however you want. And, of course, because the teeth, she has two little teeth just showing <laughs> up there. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. She's got her two front bottom teeth. So, oh, this one, um, Play Along Cabbage Patch, is $15. Um, 
I spent quite a bit on her actually. I consider 15 from uh, I think it's the Woman's Refuge charity shop quite a bit but um, she's just so incredibly clean that I don't she don't need to do much work with her she'll need a soak um, but other than that I can just reset her and I've got some Cabbage Patch Kids clothing lying around or if you've seen some of my dresses and stuff I've been making I might make her something she's just got a very pretty face on her with two front teeth yeah so I've had a bit of a a teeth thing for Cabbage Patch Kids lately so she has her two upper teeth and there's something with these dolls, um, these remade dolls, the play along, I believe they're called. I think it's the play along. Uh, do 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 do. No, oh, well, they have a really cute face to them. I just love it, so I brought her down to the last two dolls. So this one actually came, I believe, with this one. I think it was these two together. Yeah, I think it was these two together from the same seller um, from an auction site. And I was like, you know what? I want to get them both. So she has not teeth, but she kind of has like a smirky smile to the side there if you're looking. And I thought that was so unique as well as the orange streak in her hair. I'm not sure if she's had a haircut or not. I don't think she has. I think she just needs a real good wash and to take out all these braids that have been put in her hair. And um, just a reset. I believe her outfit is official. That looks like an official outfit. I hasn't had a look yet because I've been so busy. I've kind of been putting things in to-do lots. <laughs> but I believe it's official outfit. We'll find her some shoes, of which I'm really lucky. My best friend got me a bunch of Cabbage Patch shoes from a lady in a garage sale. And I was so thankful because shoes are one of always the first things to go. Hello, sun coming out, making her look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just thought she was so unique with that kind of smirky face. Love it. And the last one for this haul. I know I've been racing through, unlike my other hauls. I'm so sorry, I'm so busy. But um, I want to get out at least three or four videos this week um, for the secondhand lots. The boy one's going to be a really long one. So if you're a male and love boys toys hauls, look for that. This little one here. Now, I love these little Cabbage Patch animals. Um, I have quite a few. My mates brought me quite a few. She was $1.50. You can see on her hand there. I don't know what this dress is. It looks like a Build-A-Bear dress. So let's release her from this and see what this is. This just ain't a Cabbage Patch kiddo, and I don't think. It's a non-branded dress. Let's put that in the spare clothes. Nothing wrong with it. It's a nice clean dress. <laughs> we'll just put it over there. I don't want her in. I think she's a little lamb. She looks like a little lamb to me. So adorable. Let's have a look up close. They all kind of have the same faces. Um, they can suck their thumbs. And I've brought a few of these brand new and I've had a few of these brought for me. I, I just love them because they're just basically little Cabbage Patch dolls um, with their thing, with the, you know, they can suck their thumbs or a bottle or something in an animal suit so if you have a child who's very you want to buy a doll for but who's very animal orientated there are children like that who prefer animals to you know dolls um this is a good combination to keep you both happy <laughs> and plus um i always try and say if you're on a budget and you're looking for a little doll for your child but want something that you know that's branded as stuff these cabbage patch cuties are a great choice since they're about ten dollars in new zealand to pick up which isn't a huge expense for a little baby doll that's branded hello <laughs> if you love doll hauls please give this video a thumbs up if you love toys in general please subscribe we love to open toys and we love to share rushing through this one thanks for watching see you in the next one bye bye